Mm. Yo, what up, Tammy's? It's your boy, VP Ham, and we're back with another episode of Amateur Baker Attempts to Make Professional Chef Recipes. In our last episode, we made Claire Savitz's Queen Amon, and we're gonna use half that dough to make her cream cheese danishes. And we're gonna do two kinds, blueberry and cherry, because I like blueberry, so we're just gonna do that. Well, let's get started. For the danishes, we're gonna need some sugar, kosher salt, fruit, either cherries or blueberries, a lemon, an egg, some cream cheese, and some cornstarch. And last but not least, some Queen Amon dough from my previous video. So first we're gonna zest one lemon. So we're gonna use our microplane and just zest away. And I like to roll my citrus onto my microplane. You don't wanna to get too deep because this um, layer is bitter, so just get the top layer. We're also gonna need some of the lemon juice, so I'm gonna roll out that, cut it in half, and just squeeze out some lemon juice from these. Actually, I'm lazy as hell, so we got one of these, and we're just gonna squeeze it out. Oh yeah. For this next step, you're gonna to wanna to mix one raw egg yolk with eight ounces of cream cheese. You're gonna to wanna to work with room temperature cream cheese here, so it's a lot easier to mix because if you work with it straight out of the fridge, it's gonna take a lot more effort to get that smooth consistency. Next, we're gonna to mix together some lemon juice and cornstarch until we get a little slurry. And this is gonna help thicken up the blueberry and cherry compote that we're gonna make later. So we're gonna make the compote that's gonna go on top of the danishes. We're gonna make two kinds, blueberry and cherry. So we're gonna add all that to a saucepan. So we got our cherries, blueberries in the other, sugar, water, and then half of a lemon zest in each one. The fruits are releasing some of the juices, boiling up, and we're just gonna wait for these to thicken a little. It's been about five minutes. We're gonna add in that cornstarch mixture and let that boil so the cornstarch activates and it'll gloss up, get a little thick. You don't wanna overcook your berries because you still want some of that texture within the danishes. And turn off the heat and let that cool. For the danishes, this is half of the Queen Amando. We already cut them up and we're gonna put them onto a lined baking sheet with parchment paper. Be sure to cut yours a little more even than I did, but it's all right. It's going into our stomachs anyway. And you can already see those layers kind of puffing up there. So we know our dough is proof. Take a fork and just dock the dough three times in the center-ish area. So I transferred that cream cheese mixture into a bag and we're just gonna cut the end off. So now we're gonna dollop about a tablespoon on each one of the centers. We got cherry and blueberry. We're gonna put some on top of each Danish. I'm gonna do six cherry and six blueberry. Make sure you don't get the juices though. So either strain it or use a fork so the juices don't come on. So just put about three, maybe four, and then we're gonna put the blueberries on. Last one. So we got those uh, filled up. We're gonna set them aside for 30 to 35 minutes, preheat the oven to 400 degrees before we bake them. So you see these have puffed up. We're gonna put them in the oven at 400 and then toss the temperature down immediately to 350. So those are gonna bake for about 25 minutes and then we're just gonna flip them um, halfway in between. And we just took out the danishes. We've got the blueberry ones here and then we got the cherry ones here. And then we're just gonna get the juices and drizzle it on the top. And we're done. Now it's time to taste test. So we got the danishes made out the oven. We got Blueberry and cherry, because I prefer blueberries, but we'll taste test them and see. So they look pretty good, not as good as Claire's, but they've puffed up. You can kind of see those layers there. 
Got the cream cheese and the um, blueberries. Let's take a bite. Mmm, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Not as a fan of the blueberries as I thought it would be. Let's try the cherry one. Oh, this one puffed up really good. Like, look at that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, oh, man, Claire does know the best. The cherry is better than the blueberry. Mm, 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 mm. They're nice and flaky, crispy, creamy, a little tart from the berries. It's a really good mixture. But to be honest, the Queen of Mons are better. And I would definitely have made 24 of those instead of making Danishes. Those were so good. I mean, these are good too, but the Queen of Mons, by itself with the sugar, mm, that was really good. So check that video out if you want to see how to make those. So that's it for today, guys. If you liked watching me make these dishes, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and comment below on what you would like me to cook for this next. Until next time, peace.